Four years ago, I met uh, Hank Hoffman. He uh, developed a uh, milking system automatically with a standard robot arm. And I was thinking when uh, a robot, a standard robot arm, can, can milk cows, that then there is no problem to tank uh, vehicles. The number of inhabitants in metropolitan areas is continually increasing. Space is limited and costly, and this makes it necessary for builders in all areas to come up with new space-saving solutions. The creativity provided by Klaus Multiparking is used to design fully automatic parking systems, an absolute space-saving miracle wherever compact design is needed. And this is done with unbeatable parking comfort. How is that possible? Clever logistics within the system allow all parking spaces to be accessed with only one parking box. The operation is just as easy as with all other Klaus parking systems. The platform code is coded in your key or card. This makes it possible to access the vehicle at a later time. Once the door is closed, your parking job is done and the rest is done for you automatically. First, the vehicle dimensions are checked electronically using sensors. And then your vehicle is off on an exciting trip. Like a huge shelf system, the vehicle is automatically assigned a suitable parking space. The programming of the system is variable and is therefore prepared for individual situations. In flat and large area rooms, our parking automat is the perfect system. Here the vehicles are not arranged vertically but horizontally. the highest level of parking comfort and also the best security against theft and vandalism. Ramps and driving lanes are not needed, which makes this the best solution for parking as many vehicles as possible in a limited space. The system can be adjusted for various room dimensions and also for various vehicle heights. If you have a taste for hot cars, this story will really interest you. Nissan has just unveiled its newest futuristic concept car, the battery-powered Pivo 2. It can turn its cabin a full 360 degrees. It can turn its wheels 90 degrees, allowing the car to maneuver sideways and making it very easy to parallel park without looking back. The Pivo 2 is also equipped with a computer that talks to the driver in English or Japanese. You can do anything from giving road information to cheering up the driver. It even has a facial expression sensor to tell if your day could be better. The price tag hasn't been set, but if you happen to be passing through Tokyo, you can see the Pivo at Nissan's Ginza Gallery. Here's an undisputed fact. The number one cause of accidents involving vehicles, driver error. So, maybe the best way to fix that problem is to get rid of the driver? That's what this car from GM and Carnegie Mellon does. It's a Chevrolet Tahoe. They call it the boss, named after Charles Kettering, who's the former head of GM research. And this car, <laughs> this car's like no other car you've ever been in. Boss is a real important stepping stone for what we're doing in our technology development. We really do see a day where cars can drive themselves, cars won't crash, congestion is reduced dramatically. And the reason that's important to us is there's so much growth potential in the auto industry worldwide. Let's face it, just 12% of the people in the world own a car or a truck. And there's countries like Russia, India, China that are growing very fast. But unless we find technology solutions that can really reduce congestion and truly improve safety dramatically, we may not be able to benefit from all of that growth. Okay, I know this looks a little bit like the Ghostbusters machine, right? You remember that movie? See that little thing that's spinning around up there? What that is, is a laser, and it's spinning around in a 360-degree angle, so it will know everything that is nearby. 
It's like cruise control, but actually able to slow down for the vehicles in front of you, make the turns that you need to. You know, you should never get lost. You should be able to say, I want to get from Pittsburgh to Detroit, and it'll take you down the freeway, make the intersection, and take you to a hotel. If you I've done a lot of test drives in my time, but I have never done a test drive in a vehicle that doesn't have a driver. This one doesn't have a driver, but here we go. <laughs> this is so weird. The steering wheel is turning by itself. The car is... <laughs> There's nobody there. We're accelerating. This is no wimpy test. We're coming up to a turn, and uh, there's a stop sign uh, over here. It stops. The non-driver knows. Uh-oh, up in front are a couple of garbage cans. It dodges, dodges those. Makes its tour. All the time, the steering wheel turning around. We literally created a car that could drive itself in a simulated urban environment. It really sets up a future for our industry where cars are going to be more fun to own, more affordable, very clean, use diverse sources of energy, very, very safe and we reduce congestion, and that really is the key to, to making our business that much more vibrant. So that's why it's important. Show me McCarran International Airport. Uh, show McCarran International Airport. Showing McCarran International Airport. Set this as my starting point. Origin. We're in Las Vegas. Would you like to go? Set a course for Wynn, Las Vegas. Directions to Wynn, Las Vegas. Show destination. Destination display. <laughs> Show nearby Starbucks. Here's the nearest Starbucks. Okay, let's think about how long that would have taken in your local TomTom, -tom, right? It takes, and this is no joke, it took one of our people 328 clicks to get a destination. It took another individual, uh, it took on average six minutes in order to put a destination into a um, never, lost. never lost system. Well, that's an extremely long time, but how long did it take me just to do that? What was that, 18 seconds max, and then I was able to ask for nearby Starbucks? That's the power of voice. Continuing the evolution of Toyota's personal mobility vehicle development, which began in 2003 with the unveiling of the personal mobility concept car, is the iReal. The concept of this vehicle is that you can use a cell phone with one hand and drive with the other, and also stop easily. You can also drink at the same time as controlling the vehicle. We want to make a vehicle that safely allows for this. These are the levers used to control this vehicle. By pushing forward you accelerate, and pulling back you brake. You can also brake by pressing this button on the lever. Just by turning the lever in the direction you want to go, makes the vehicle move in that direction. The iReal uses three wheels, which at low speed shorten the wheelbase, allowing the passenger to maneuver through pedestrians at a similar eye level, without taking up a lot of space. The wheelbase extends out when traveling at higher speeds, providing better performance with a lower center of gravity, and therefore more stability. In walking mode, this vehicle can go at 6 km per hour. When you change it into car mode, you can travel at 30 km per hour. The iReal also has a built-in social networking service, allowing you to communicate and create a community with other iReal drivers nearby. A collision detection system constantly monitors the surrounding landscape using perimeter monitoring sensors and alerts the driver by vibrating or using noise. It also alerts others to its presence by using light and sound. Dig Info News
RoboMow by Friendly Robotics, a fully automatic lawn mower for the homeowner. Tired of mowing your lawn? Fed up with your lawn service or relying on the neighbor's team? RoboMow is the ultimate in lawn mowing convenience. Specially designed to mow your lawn completely automatically. Powered by a rechargeable battery, RoboMow is extremely quiet and environment friendly. While RoboMow automatically cuts your lawn, you can enjoy your free time the way you like most. All RoboMo models traverse your lawn in a systematic pattern of zigzag lines, which repeats itself in several different angles. This small clippings that are buried in the roots of the lawn, where they decompose and act as a natural fertilizer. This results in a healthier and better looking lawn, and eliminates the need to collect and remove the clippings. RoboMo sensors identify trees, rocks, and other obstacles on your lawn and work around them. This makes RoboMo very safe with pets and children. RoboMo is the ultimate in environmental friendliness. It is run by a low voltage battery, quiet, mulches the grass, and does not involve any oil or fuel so it doesn't create smoke or pollution. Simple levers allow very easy adjustment of cutting height. RoboMo will work well on any lawn that can be cut by a conventional push mower, day or night, an easy to use manual controller is part of the product and allows easy transportation from storage to the lawn and back. The top of the range RL1000 model takes RoboMow to a new level by allowing complete automation of the entire mowing cycle. Set the time and days of the week in which you would like RoboMow to cut your lawn and forget about maintaining your lawn for the entire season. RoboMow will automatically come out of its docking station at the days and times you defined cut your lawn and come back to charge and be ready for the next cutting operation. The operation of the RL1000 is very similar to that of a computer controlled yard watering system. Friendly Robotics is a world leader in the development of home robotics products which liberate people from routine chores. Turn on the living room light. Okay. Turn on the dining room table light. Okay. Set all the dining room lights to 40%. Okay. Turn off the living room light. Okay. Turn off all the dining room lights. Okay. Turn on the foyer light. Okay. Set the foyer light to 100%. Okay.